Hi friends, Third Wheel here. So for this week, the three wheels have the theme, and the theme is recipes. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make peanut butter chocolate cake mix cookies. So yeah, let's get right into it. So you'll need one box of Betty Crocker chocolate fudge cake mix. So the next thing you'll need is one bag of Nestle Toll House peanut butter and milk chocolate chips. Next thing you'll need is one and a half cups of canola or vegetable oil. And the last thing you'll need is two eggs. And the nice thing about this recipe is that you can mix it up. So if you would rather use strawberry cake mix and white chocolate chips, you can do that or whatever combination you think would be good. So the first thing you need to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Cake mix, eggs, and oil in a large mixing bowl and beat well. oil and cake mix, it's time to mix it up. I'm adding in the chocolate chips. Also, it's up to you if you want to use the beaters, but, you know, just be careful if you do use them. Now you put it in the fridge for one hour. You're going to roll the cookie dough into balls and place it on an ungreased cookie. So there it was. Um, I hope you enjoyed that recipe. Um, and just so you know, um, I didn't actually create that recipe. Um, it was created by the Frugal Girls. Um, <laughs> uh, and I'm actually going to include the link to where I found the recipe in the description box. So yeah. But yeah, like I said before, um, you can change it up a bit. I think the original recipe um, has strawberry cake mix and white chocolate chips. But like I said, you can do any combination you think would be good. So like I did chocolate and peanut chocolate with peanut butter chips. Um, you could probably do chocolate and chocolate. Um, whatever you think would be good. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video for this week. And I'll see you next week. Bye! Bye. Okay. <laughs> that was better.